This is Kathy Beal of EmpowermentUnlimited.net with Astro Insight for the week of November 21, 2022. A lot of the influences that complicated the first part of November are starting to break up, to ease off. We're moving out of the direct throttle of the eclipses, although we're certainly still seeing lots of activity playing out from them, particularly involving social media, tech layoffs, and cryptocurrency. And the sense of unreality that is part and parcel of Mars in Gemini squaring Neptune in Pisces is starting to back off just a bit as retrograde Mars slinks away from the activation button on the cosmic fog machine. We have a slightly clearer picture of what's really going on in our lives and in the world. The, let's call it, hooey has reached critical mass for the moment, although there's still plenty of it flying around. Mars retrograde continues to be a factor in the background until early January. And in fact, if you listen closely, you can hear his handiwork. Ah, it stopped for just a second in the yard next door, drilling who knows what. At any rate, this week, the sense of troubles being ever so slightly behind us gets stronger and stronger and stronger. Or at least the desire to finally just kick back, relax, enjoy life for a change. We have a preponderance of planets in mutable signs, which makes for going this way and that way in a kind of meandering approach to things with a lot of flexibility, which makes it easy to adjust and adapt and change course and, oh, well, that didn't work. Well, we'll do this. Much more easygoing, lighter-hearted attitude toward so much of life. And a lot of that energy is in the sign of Sagittarius, connected to the outdoors, connected to wide open spaces, wide open sky, mind expansion, adventure, high energy, a jovial approach ruled by Jupiter, ability to laugh, ability to make jokes, ability to look for the silver lining in pretty much anything. And that gets supersized this week because a lot of important activity is happening early in Sagittarius. Mercury and Venus meet there on the 21st, which makes for lively socializing, lively conversation, and people running all over the place mentally and physically. This is not going to be a quiet week or a week of you sitting in front of your computer doing a lot of bookkeeping or some other number-oriented task. You could be communicating with people all over the planet. On the 22nd, the sun also moves into Sagittarius, and this increases the high-energy, let's-have-a-good-time vibe, also the foolhardy risk-taking vibe. Also, the my view of reality is the right view of reality and you don't have the right to tell me any different vibe. So watch out for that, especially if you are going to be celebrating Thanksgiving with other humans. Be careful about topics that other people could grandstand on. Be aware that there will be extremely passionately held opinions. Sounds like politics and religion to me. So perhaps play games and make jokes instead? At any rate, on the 23rd, two really important things happen. The first is Jupiter, the ruler of Sagittarius, stations direct. This has the effect of pulling elastic out, stretching, stretching, stretching a band as far as it can go. Jupiter has supersizing properties. His stationing is slowing his movement, making his enlarging touch even more large, cartoonishly large. And that pours directly into the Sagittarius new moon that happens also on the 23rd. He's still at the end of Pisces, but 
He's close enough to the degree of the new moon to be in an out-of-sign trine with it, which means Jupiter is pouring all of his amplifying go-for-broke propensities directly into everything that we are either starting or working on or trying to take to another level at the Sagittarius new moon. And all of this has amazing growth potential, very probably in directions that might shift a bit from what you initially think. And with Jupiter being part of the mix, it's like rapid grow or miracle grow or flame accelerant. Use whatever metaphor you want of things really taking off. And what might take off most of all is a sense of optimism and renewal and hope and belief and faith. Assessing the aftermath of all of the eclipse changes, which are, of course, still playing out, and envisioning what you would like to see come next. And whatever you think of, whatever you dream of, make the vision bigger. You'll get some information that will probably tweak your thinking around the 27th. Mercury makes an adjustment aspect with Uranus. Something you hadn't thought of could become known to you. You could get a different way of looking at things that opens up possibilities you hadn't considered before. All in all, it is extremely enjoyable weather for the week and promises an extremely enjoyable holiday weekend in the United States. Allow yourself to have some fun. It's finally safe to do that. Homing thought of the week. Find three positives for every negative. Song of the week. Always look on the bright side from Monty Python's Life of Brian. And the image of the week is the sun coming out from behind the clouds. You'll learn more about this in my forecast for the Sagittarius New Moon, which is already up at my site, empowermentunlimited.net, where you can sign up for my mailing list and book a session with me. I'm Kathy Beal, a professional astrologer with more than 30 years' experience. I've got an article at Medium explaining the astrology behind the chaos at Twitter and social media in general, and I'll put the link for that below. I host the show Celestial Compass on Ohm Times Radio on the first and third Monday of every month at 5 p.m. Eastern. And my guest this week is Ramananda John Welshens, friend of Ram Das, wise, wise teacher whom I am so, so honored to know. And he's coming on to talk about, hmm, what a coincidence, gratitude. I also host Lively Conversation on Facebook at Empowerment Unlimited and the group The Astro Insight Lounge. I have lots of bonus content at patreon.com slash Kathy Beal. And I am really grateful to the people who support my work there. I'm on Instagram at at K.A. Beal and on YouTube at the Professional Aquarian Channel. Talk to you next week.